Hey everyone, I'd like to do a video showing my Harry Potter box set. Now, this is a box set that comes with six of the Harry Potter books, which is from years one through six. And this I got many years ago when I was a kid, and I've had this for a long time. And you can tell because it has some wear and tear on it. And if you're wondering why this one comes with years one through six, it's because the Deaf Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows was not out yet. Same with Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which I have those two off the side, which I will show later in the video. But anyways, I'm going to start by showing off these books I have in here. I won't go too much into detail when I show off each book, just because most of you know what Harry Potter is. I only read about I only read about the section written on the back. I won't like go into full details. But anyways, this first, and all the books in this box set are paperback. Where I, same with the Deathly Hallows I have, whereas the Cursed Child that I have is hardcover. So anyways, I will pull one out and show Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Which this is obviously the first book in the Harry Potter series. And it shows Harry flying on a broomstick. And the first book is Harry's first is Harry's first year at Hogwarts. On your side, and I'll read the back right here. Harry Potter has never played a sport while flying on a broomstick. He's never worn a cloak of invincibility. Befriended a giant or helped hatch a, gi a dragon. All Harry knows is a miserable life with the Dursleys, his horrible aunt and uncle, and their abominable son Dudley. Harry's, Harry's room is a tiny closet on the foot of the stairs, and he hasn't had a birthday party in 11 years. But all that is about to change when a mysterious letter arrives by Owl Messenger, a letter with an inv invitation to a wonderful place he never dreamed existed. There he finds not only friends, aerial sports, and magic around every corner, but a great destiny that's been waiting for him, if Harry can survive the encounter. Alright, so, and of course, this book is as this book is a brown book. The next book I'm going to show is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which this shows, this shows Harry flying on a dragon's tail, like, pulling a dragon's tail while flying on it. And this is the second book in the Harry Potter series, and, and this, is, and this takes, this is Harry's, and this book is Harry's second year at Hogwarts. Here's a side I'll show real quick. All right, here's the back of the chamber, Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets. Ever since Harry Potter come over the summer, the Dursleys have been so much mean and hideous that all Harry wanted was to get back to the Hogwarts school for witchcraft and wizardry. But just as he's packing his bags, Harry receives a warning from a strange, impish creature who says that if Harry returns to Hogwarts, disaster will strike. And strike it does, of course. For in Harry's second year at Hogwarts, Fresh torments and horrors arise, including an outrageously stuck-up new professor and a spirit who haunts the girls' bathroom. But then the real trouble begins. Someone is turning Hogwarts students to stone. Could it be Draco Malfoy, a more poisonous rival than ever? Could it possibly be Hagrid, whom, whose mysterious past is finally told? Or could it be the one everyone at Hogwarts most suspects, Harry Potter himself? And this is a red book. And the next book of, that's in the box set is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azban. And I'll give you a brief history. The more books that you read, the bigger they get because there's more chapters in them. This one's Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azban. This is the third book in the Harry Potter series. And this one shows Harry and, I believe, Hermione on the cover. I could be wrong. Riding Buckbeak. And this is Harry's third year at Hogwarts. Here's a side of real quick. And then the back of the book says this. For 12 long years, the dread fortress of Azkaban held an infamous prisoner named Sirius Black. Convinced of killing 13 people with a single curse. He was said to be the heir of the heir apparent to the Dark Lord Voldemort. Now he has escaped, leaving only two clues as to where he might be headed. Harry Potter's defeat of you-know-who was Black's downfall as well. And the Azkaban guards heard Black muttering in his sleep, He's at Hogwarts, he's at Hogwarts. Harry Potter isn't safe, even not even within the walls of his magical school surrounded by his friends, because on top of it all, there may well be a traitor in the midst. And this is a orange book, as you can see. And and I'll tell you this, these Harry Potter books have a ton of chapters in them. <laughs> They're quite long books. Alright, so these these three books, of course, are the small books, since they don't have as, as much chapters as the other books. 
Whereas the other books I'm about to show off have a ton of chapters in them. And they're big books. Alright, so next one is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Which, um... This is the fourth book in the Harry Potter series. And it shows Harry and three other people who are taking part in the Triwizard Tournament. And this is during Harry... And this is Harry's fourth year at Hogwarts. Here's the side. I know it's got wear on it because I've had these books for so many years. I'll tell you that. And here's the back of the book. Harry Potter is midway through both his training as a wizard and his coming of age. Harry wants to get away from the dirt, from the precious, per pernicious, I'm sorry if I pronounced the word wrong, Dursleys, and go to the International Quidditch Cup with Hermione, Ron, and the Weasleys. He wants to dream about Chow Chang, his crush, and maybe do more than dream. He wants to find out about the mysterious event that's supposed to take place at Hogwarts this year, an event involving two other rival schools of magic and a competition that hasn't happened for hundreds of years. He wants to be a normal 14-year-old wizard. But unfortunately for Harry Potter, he's not normal, even by wizarding standards. And in this case, different can be deadly. And this is, a, and this is actually one of the green books I have. The other, there's another, the other green book I will show off in a little bit. This is a light green book. And this is one of the big ones, of course. Alright, next one I'm going to show is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Which, this is the fifth book in the Harry Potter series. And it shows Harry on the front in a room. I don't remember which room it is, but it's, it's definitely a room that's important in the, whole se in the, se in the book. And this is Harry's fifth year at Hogwarts. Alright, here's the side. And the back of the book says this. <clears throat> there is a door at the end of a silent corridor, and it's haunting Harry Potter's dream. Why else would he be waking up in the middle of the night screaming in terror? Harry has a lot on his mind for this. His fifth year at Hogwarts of defense against the Dark Arts teacher with a personality like Poisoned Honey. A big surprise on the Gryffindor Quidditch team. If I said it right. Yes, I said it right. Sorry if I paused there for a minute. And the looming terror of the ordinary wizarding level exams. But all these things pale next to the growing threat of he who must not be named. A threat that neither the magical government nor the authorities of Hogwarts can stop. As the grasp of darkness tightens, Harry must discover the true depth and strength of his friends, the importance of boundless loyalty, and the shocking price of unbearable sacrifice. His fate depends on them all. And this is a blue book. And as you see right here, I, I just stack these on top of the books because I'm stacking them in order. Which is going to become harder throughout the video the more I look through because the bigger these books are, of course. Alright. The next one is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Which, this is the sixth book in the Harry Potter series and it shows Harry and Dumbledore on the front making a potion. I believe a potion, I could be wrong. And this is Harry's sixth year at Hogwarts. And here is the side of it. And now I'll show the back of it. The war against Voldemort is not going well. Even Muggle governments are noticing. Ron scans the obituary pages of the Daily Prophet looking for familiar names. Dumbledore's absent from Hogwarts for long stretches of time. Sorry, I'm just trying to hold the camera still. It's hard to. And the Order of the Phoenix has already suffered losses. And yet, as in all wars, life goes on. The Weasley twins expand their business. Six-year students learn to uh, operate and lose a few eyebrows in the process. Teenagers flirt and fight and fall in love. Classes are never straightforward. Though Harry receives some extraordinary help from the mysterious Half-Blood Prince. So it's the home front that takes center stage in the multi-layered sixth installment of the story of Harry Potter. Here at Hogwarts, Harry will search... For the full and complex story of the boy who became Lord Voldemort. And thereby find what may be his own vulnerability. And I'm going to stack this one by itself because I don't want to take time to stack them all together. Because, I've, because I already had a hard time doing it with the Order of the Phoenix. Alright. And now I'll show the other two books off the side. Which are not a part of the box set. This first one is Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows. Which this is the seventh book in the Harry Potter series. And I didn't mention this about the Half of Prince. This is a dark green book. And this one is like an orange book. I believe an orange book. It's like a light orange book. Whereas the Prisoner of Asmund is like a dark orange. 
and it shows Harry on the cover during, I believe, the Battle of Hogwarts. I could be wrong. I don't know where he's located. And anyways, um, this book does not give a detail about the whole book. It just shows the um, description of uh, J.K. Rowling. With this book, um, the only the only description I have about this book is that this this book takes place from from Harry Ron Hermione searching for the Horcruxes to 19 years later, which it which which more of it's explained about in the next book I'm going to show off. But anyways, in this book, Harry leaves Hogwarts with his friends, Ron Hermione, while most of her friends go to Hogwarts for their seventh and final year. And then the last book I'm going to show off is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Which, this is the only hardcover book I have. And this is the eighth book in the series. And this one has the, this one has a brief saying in the back. The eighth story, 19 years later. Which, this book, which the epilogue is in the Deathly Hallows, takes place 19 years after the Battle of Hogwarts. And here's the description I'll read. <clears throat> 19 years after the Battle of Hogwarts, it was always difficult being Harry Potter. And it isn't much easier now that he's an overworked employee of the Ministry of Magic, a husband, and a father of three school-age children. While Harry grapples with a past that refuses to stay where it belongs, his youngest son, Albus, must struggle with the weight of a family legacy he never wanted, as past and present fuse ominously. Both father and son learn the uncomfortable truth, sometimes darkness comes from unexpected places. Alright, so that's all the books right there. And I'm going to stack this one on top of here. So yeah, so five, so five of the Harry Potter books are big. Three of them are small. Just thought I'd point that out. But anyways, and now I'll finally show off the box. Which, the box, the box, the side shows some of the Harry Potter books. Like, I'll flip it around so it's backward. This side shows Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This one shows Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's of Stone. And this one shows Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. So I'm sorry if I have it a little crooked. And then the back says the Harry Potter collection years 1 through 6. And of course the whole series, as it says right there, by J.K. Rowling. Anyways, so that's about it. I will end my video here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.